Hello there, uh, Colin Ribold here, and uh, there seems to be uh, a lot of questions uh, on a on a character in Blender. Sorry, I haven't made a video in a while. <laughs> I'm not used to starting out here. Um, so one thing that a lot of people wonder about in Blender is how to make a character pick up an object, and not only that, but be able to put it back down, and uh, I would like to show you that. Uh, it's not an easy thing to find on YouTube or other places, and uh, I'm going to show you uh, what I have found. And uh, let's see how it goes. So first, uh, you want your character that you made. Uh, I'm going to use my uh, new Minecraft person as an example. And uh, he's going to be picking up the sword off of the table and uh, just walking all away with it, I guess. <coughs> so... Uh, Let's see here. Sometimes people turn on those screencast buttons, but I haven't figured that out yet. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm doing anyway. <coughs> so uh, first you want to make your animation of uh, your rig or character or whatever is going to be picking up an object. You want to make that animation and what I've got here, which is going to be playing a little bit slow because I'm recording now. It's about at like half speed right now. Uh, this character is a little new, so I'm still working on uh, making him walk right, I guess. And I, I changed uh, the orientation of the sword there just a little bit, but uh, he's not actually holding it yet. I wanted to make it so that just before he picks it up, uh, it actually rotates so that it'll be in his hand correctly. And so uh, let's go ahead and uh, get to work to uh, making them hold it. So first I have to get my bones back, which I have hidden. Alt-H. Here we go. And uh, we're going to be making him hold it with this bone right here, which is the lower arm right. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, go back to object mode, select the sword. Uh, go to the constraints up here, add constraint, and put child of. Alright, so now we click on the target, which is going to give it a parent. And uh, in the armature cube, lots of cubes. Does it give me the actual armature names here? Or? It says armature, but it doesn't give me the armature name. Okay, that's as far as it goes. Okay, let's try armature. The bone. Oh, that's uh, the armature for the chest. Okay, so I select the armature of uh, my Minecraft character, and then it brings up a bone option. And we want it to be the lower arm right. <coughs> and so now the sword disappeared. Uh, but we can uh, get that back by uh, messing around with these two buttons here. I just click select inverse and it came back already. And uh, if we look now, uh, even though there is no keyframes for the sword, it's actually attached to his hand here. And then it kind of twists there and looks a little funny. But uh, we can fix that in one way you'll see there is an influence uh, scroll bar or I can't quite remember the name of that but uh, up until let's go ahead and at the beginning put this all the way down so it's on the table and you can set a keyframe for the influence by putting your mouse over it and pressing I and it'll turn yellow if it's yellow that means there is a keyframe set on this frame for that value and if it's green that means uh, there is known, known, uh, no keyframe or none set. And so he grabs it right about here. So I'm going to go one frame before and uh, hit I again so that between these two keyframes the influence is completely zero. And then at the moment that he picks it up, I'm going to put the influence all the way on. And uh, something kind of wonky. There we go. So he grabs it. 
and now the influence is completely on and he picks it up and it's in his hand now uh, it might take a little bit of editing to get it to be in his hand in the way that you would want it almost seems like I uh, shouldn't have tilted it there let's go ahead and try and change that this is where I tilted it or what I can do is uh, let's see uh, global going to this is the actual keyframe that the influence happens on so I'm going to actually put it in his hand the exact way I want it to be let's see about right there I want it to come out the back a little bit more uh, almost got it Turn it this way a little bit. And then uh, press I. And you can either put location, rotation, and scale individually, or you can go down here and hit lock, rot, scale. I used to think that meant lock, but it actually means location, or location and rotation. And so now that that's fixed, uh, he should come by and pick it up. And now it's in his hand. and he runs away with it and let's say uh, you wanted him to put it back down he holds it for about this long go ahead and hit I and let's say he drops it and at about this point here put this all the way down you would have to set some more keyframes to where he would drop it at but it kinda puts it back um, if you wanted it on the floor you could actually move it over here on the ground and then put in some keyframes and uh, a lot of wonky stuff looks like would happen okay don't do that I don't want a keyframe there but yep that's uh, how to make him pick it up let's see I don't want a keyframe here anymore seems that what y if you wanted to actually do that that if uh, you would have to set a keyframe just before so go like this and then uh, put the influence down and then have him drop it put that there and this here course I didn't put any uh, uh well you might have to mess with it but anyway I hope that helps let's see I want to undo here I'll uh, I'll go ahead and just fast forward a little bit while I mess with it
Okay, it seems that uh, I can't quite figure it out. Um, it seems that uh, as the influence goes down, it uh, goes back to the last keyframe that it had. So if I had any suggestions, I would say to uh, not make sure that this object doesn't have a keyframe. But uh, I don't really want to tell you that because there's probably a better way to do it. And uh, I'm only recently been able to ex mess around with this but um so yeah that's a tutorial on how to make the make a rig pick up an item and uh perhaps in the comments someone <laughs> could help me out a little bit and tell me how to make them drop it uh so uh thank you for that So now if I uh, go ahead and hide this, I just told it to unhide. Okay. So now if we were to play through the whole thing, even slower this time. You can really see where I messed up on the footsteps now. Some of them look good, some of them don't. It'd probably be easier if I could uh, figure out how to do inverse kinematics and and things like that with uh, the rig I have, but uh, I can't use Rigify with this uh, bone structure I set up because I made it myself and Rigify usually requires the actual Rigify bone structure that it gives you. So I need to learn how to make uh, my own sort of little rig to do a uh, IK and FK with. <laughs> that sprinting was really bad too. But uh, yeah. I'm learning. Why don't we uh, render one of the images for fun? So uh, this has been Colin Robold with a uh, tutorial on one way to have a rig pick up an item. It's not the only way, there's probably several ways, but uh, I hope that this, this video helps you out in some sort of way, and uh, thank you for watching.